Good evening. This is Darren Ward, your guide speaking. If you could do me a favor and text my number that you're here, just text me HERE in all caps. Thanks. Welcome to Verdugo Woodlands, a quiet, secluded neighborhood that, to the average passerby, seems harmless at its very worst. Tonight, you'll learn of a troubled someone who used to roam these streets. Someone who did something very, very bad here. Someone who may still wander these parts to this very day. Through the impeccably researched, immersive second-person perspective of this tour, You'll endure a once-in-a-lifetime experience as you enter the mind of this deranged killer. A killer who murdered at seven years old. To begin the tour, transition to the next audio file in this folder, marked Listen To, to learn his name and hear his story. A story that took place entirely within the confines of this very neighborhood. You are Gary. Gary Keene. You were born July 23rd, 1981. In 1984, both your parents died in a fatal car accident. You were in the back seat. You saw your father launched headfirst through the windshield. Saw the glass and blood and teeth flying about. The view of your mother's fate was obscured. Miraculously, you survived with only minor injuries. Your grandmother took you into custody after the accident. You loved Granny. She was kind. The only kindness left in your world after your folks perished. Not only that, but your only remaining relative. You missed your parents dearly, but Granny was special. Her house was like a whole other planet, her own little world. And from age three on, it became your world too. Born in 1934, Granny had her house packed with antiques and memorabilia from the 30s and 40s. Having walked into this quaint home felt as if you had traveled back in time. It was... warm. What sounds like such a plain way to put it is really the most accurate way to express its character. There was always a vinyl record playing on the gramophone. Benny Goodman, Jack Hilton, Louis Armstrong, they were the usuals. Anyhow, you did have a favorite something about her. Above all else, it was her bedtime stories you enjoyed the most. Tales of fantastical worlds that provided a cathartic escapism from your own. These stories were the best thing to happen to you, and Granny told them well. Most of these stories were classic fairy tales, your absolute favorite being Goldilocks and the Three Bears. After its first reading, it became your most highly requested story. So much so, there was a point where it was practically the only thing she read. Out of this obsession came Granny's go-to nickname for you, Gare Bear. That October, she bought you a bear costume for Halloween, complete with a jumpsuit, gloves for paws, and most importantly, a bear mask. You absolutely loved that mask. It made you feel as if you were something else entirely. Your sorrows magically disappeared. Halloween became this incredible one night out of the year where you could be anyone you wanted without ever receiving any judgment. No questions asked, no shame. Because everyone posed as someone else. You fit in. You started to wear the suit year-round. You spent most of your afternoons outside with Granny, playing Goldilocks right here, in a lush neighborhood garden surrounding a historic structure built in 1828. The Catalina Verdugo adobe, with its cabin-like aesthetic, became the setting for the Bear family's house from the story. It was more than exciting to reenact your favorite tales here, with your Granny, you proudly wearing your fuzzy costume. But this garden was only so big, and your vast imagination required some place larger. 
Proceed to subfolder 7173 for instructions regarding the next chapter in your story. Feel free to explore the visual subfolder for further reference.